Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Dearest Philip, when we first met, I never could have imagined the journey we would be embarking upon together. Trisha, when we first met, I was so interested in getting to know this mystery of a woman. As we started to get to know each other, a small part of me became afraid. I was afraid that rush of emotion would soon pass, that it couldn't get better from here, and that the intensity of the feelings we had for each other would soon fade. I was wrong. Instead, you have become more and more the person I rely on. <laughs> I'm at a graduation and my phone rings and it's, it's this call from Sierra Vista, Arizona. And I said, I don't know anyone in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Must be a telemarketer. And I hung up. And the phone rang again from Sierra Vista, Arizona. And I said, boy, that's a persistent telemarketer. And I hung up. And finally, about a week or so later, Trisha said, yeah, Philip called to try and ask for permission to marry me. And you kept hanging up on him. So, other than that, we get along great, right? Well, I don't have much to my name, but I've got what I need. I truly am the luckiest girl in the world, and I can't wait to take on this life with you. You have become the most important person in my life, and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. With love, Trisha. I love you, Bella. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembered to say, I love you, at least once every day, and it is never going to sleep angry. You've stood by my side through some of the most difficult challenges in my life and have put up with the moves, the long nights, the late nights, and the nights spent apart, all while managing to pursue your dreams. You're my coach, my cheerleader, my travel companion, my cooking partner, my co-pilot, and my best friend. Philip, you're my best friend and have completely captured my heart by being exactly who you are. You are the sweetest, most compassionate, loving man I've ever known. I knew you were the one when home went from being a place to a person. I promise to stand by your side and always support you. That wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you live, I will live. Whether it's the great white north or the middle of nowhere. Your dreams are my dreams. Your goals are my goals. And while I may not always be there physically, I will, be always, I will always do my best to keep you safe. I commit myself to use your husband and to stand faithfully by your side as long as I live. I promise to miss you fiercely when we're apart, knowing that each day that passes is another day closer to being back together. Most of all, I promise to love you endlessly and cherish you throughout this crazy journey called life for the rest of our days. Now by the powers vested in me, by the laws of the state of New York, it is my honor and it is my great pleasure 
to now pronounce you husband and wife. Philip, you may kiss your bride. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Philip and Trisha Hightower. I'm so excited for you guys. I couldn't be happier for you. Um, all these experiences that you're going to have in the future are not important. They're not worth anything if you don't have great people to share them with. And you two are going to have the, the, each other for the rest of your lives. And I'm so happy for the both of you. Right from the start, I could tell how much he truly cared about her, and I could see how much Trisha actually really cared about him. They brought out the best in each other, and I knew they were made for one another. To the bride and groom, I love you both. Goes to Phil and Trish Hightower.